When was the last time you felt like giving up? When was the moment you doubted whether you could overcome the obstacles in your path? We've all been there, feeling overwhelmed and questioning if there's any hope left. But here's something you need to hear. Don't give up. In this moment of uncertainty, God is at work, even when you can't see the way forward. Stick with me, and let's explore how God will lead you through this darkness and guide you to a place of victory. You don't want to miss the reassurance and hope that's coming your way. Let's start with a promise straight from God's Word in Isaiah 41 verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is not just encouragement. It's a promise. God is telling you not to fear, because He is the one holding you up. He will not let you fall, even when it feels like you're at the end of your rope. His strength is enough. But here's the key. When we face difficulties, it's easy to let fear and doubt creep in. That's when trusting God becomes most important. And trust begins when you realize that God has a plan for your life, even when you don't see it clearly. There are moments in life when you wonder why things are happening the way they are. It's easy to question God's plan when you're surrounded by uncertainty. But remember, God doesn't make mistakes. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reminds us, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God's plan is perfect, even when it doesn't feel like it. Trust Him to lead you, because He sees what you cannot. Often, we want to know everything right away. We want to see the full picture. But God doesn't always work like that. He reveals His plan in pieces, step by step, because He knows that if we saw everything at once, we might get overwhelmed. Think about it like this. When you're driving at night, your car's headlights don't show the entire road ahead. They show just enough for you to keep moving forward. That's how God's plan works. He gives you enough light for the next step. You may not understand why things are happening now, but trust that every step is a part of His bigger purpose. You might be facing a tough situation, a decision you don't know how to make, or a season of waiting that feels endless. And in those moments, it's tempting to give up or to doubt. But remember, the Bible is full of stories where God's plan didn't make sense to the people involved until it did. Look at Joseph. He was sold into slavery by his own brothers, wrongfully imprisoned, and left in a foreign land. For years, he must have wondered what God was doing. But in the end, God's plan was revealed, and Joseph became a leader in Egypt, saving his family and countless others from famine. What seemed like defeat was part of God's victory. Trusting in God's plan means surrendering control. It means accepting that you won't always understand why things are happening, but believing that God is working for your good. Romans 8 verse 28 reminds us, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Even in the hardest moments, God is using every circumstance to shape you, strengthen you, and prepare you for what's ahead. When life gets difficult and you're tempted to doubt or give up, remember this. God's plan is for your good, and His timing is perfect. He hasn't forgotten you or left you alone. He is guiding you toward the victory. He has already planned for you, even when the path ahead is unclear. But trusting in God's plan also means trusting in His timing. It's one thing to believe He has a plan for your life, but another to wait for it to unfold. Waiting can be hard. That's why, in those moments of waiting, it's important to remember this. God's timing is always perfect. You might be praying for a breakthrough, but the answer hasn't come yet. It's hard to wait, especially when you're hurting. But God's timing is different from ours. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11 says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. Just because you don't see the result yet doesn't mean God isn't working behind the scenes. Trust that He will bring beauty from your situation at the right moment. Sometimes, waiting on God can feel frustrating, even painful. 
You may wonder why things are taking so long. But remember this, delays are not denials. God isn't ignoring your prayers. He isn't overlooking your needs. Often, in the waiting, God is preparing you for something greater than you can imagine. He sees the bigger picture. He knows what's best for you and when it's best to give it to you. Think of it like planting a seed. When you plant a seed, you don't see the fruit immediately. There's a process that takes place underground before the plant can grow. It's the same with God's timing. There's growth happening that you can't see, but in the right season it will produce fruit. Consider Abraham and Sarah. They waited years for the child God promised them. At times, they doubted and even tried to take matters into their own hands. But in the end, God fulfilled his promise at the perfect time. Their story shows us that waiting doesn't mean God's promise is forgotten. It means he's working things out in his perfect way. In your life, God's timing might not look like what you expect, but his timing is always for your good. He knows the right moment to open doors, to provide breakthroughs, and to answer prayers. And when the time comes, his answer will be better than anything you could have planned on your own. So, hold on and trust him. But what about those moments when things seem to fall apart, when the delays feel like defeat? It's in these moments that God calls us to persevere. The setbacks you face aren't signs of failure. They're part of the journey God is leading you on. Setbacks can feel like defeat. Maybe you've tried to move forward, but the door keeps closing. Maybe you've poured your heart into something, but it didn't work out the way you expected. It's easy to feel like these moments are signs of failure, but let me remind you of this important truth. Setbacks are not the end. They are part of the process. They are stepping stones on the journey God has you on, and He is using them to shape and strengthen you. James 1 verses 2 to 3 encourages us to consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. This means that every obstacle, every delay, and every closed door is doing something important inside of you. It's growing your faith and building perseverance. God uses these moments to teach you how to keep going, how to trust Him more deeply, and how to develop a resilient spirit. Think of a tree during a storm. The wind may bend its branches, but the roots grow deeper as the tree holds on. In the same way, your faith grows stronger when you hold on through the trials. Setbacks may bend you, but they won't break you when you're rooted in God's promises. Here's something else to remember. God's delays are not denials. Just because something hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it won't. Maybe that job, relationship, or breakthrough hasn't come because God is still preparing you for it. He sees the bigger picture, and sometimes what looks like a setback is really God protecting you or getting you ready for something even better. Look at Joseph in the Bible. He faced betrayal, slavery, and imprisonment, one setback after another. But through every hardship, God was preparing Joseph for something greater. Eventually, Joseph became a ruler in Egypt, and he was able to save many lives during a famine. What looked like a series of defeats was actually God's way of positioning him for victory. So when you face a setback, don't lose hope. God is still in control. He knows exactly where you are, and he's working behind the scenes. Your setback is just setting the stage for your comeback. Keep trusting him, keep moving forward, and remember that nothing is wasted in God's plan. Every difficulty has a purpose, and it's all part of the victory he's leading you toward. Setbacks can feel overwhelming, but they aren't the end of your story. They are simply part of God's process of building your perseverance and faith. It's in those moments of weakness, when you feel like giving up, that God steps in with His power and strength. And that leads us to the next point. You don't have to rely on your own strength to keep going, because God provides the strength you need. When you feel like you're out of strength, know that God's strength is endless. Philippians 4 verse 13 says, I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. 
You're not meant to carry the burden alone. God is right there, giving you what you need to keep going. When you rely on Him, He will renew your strength and give you the endurance to keep moving forward. But what does it really mean to rely on God's strength? It means trusting that even when your own abilities fall short, God will step in and provide what you lack. Think of it like this. You're climbing a steep hill, and just when your legs feel like they can't take another step, someone comes alongside you, offering support and lifting some of the weight off your shoulders. That's what God does for you. He doesn't expect you to carry the load of life on your own. He wants to be your strength. Isaiah 40 verses 29 to 31 tells us, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Notice the key here. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. This means that when you place your hope, your trust, and your faith in God, He will refresh you. Even when you're exhausted, physically or emotionally, He steps in and lifts you up, giving you the energy and power to keep moving forward. God's strength is not just about getting through the tough moments. It's about thriving in the midst of them. Sometimes we think that strength means simply surviving, but God promises more than that. He promises that you will soar like an eagle, above your troubles, with a new perspective and a fresh wind beneath your wings. When you feel like you're at the end of your rope, don't forget to reach out to God. Ask Him for the strength you need. His power is made perfect in your weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 In fact, it's often when we are weakest that God shows up in the strongest way. The Apostle Paul even said, For when I am weak, then I am strong. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 10 Why? Because in those moments, God's strength fills the gaps where we fall short. His grace covers you, and His power lifts you. Don't be afraid to admit that you need His help. You don't have to do it all by yourself. God wants to partner with you. He wants to be your strength and your shield. So the next time you feel like you can't go on, remember that God's strength is just a prayer away. His strength will carry you, and it will be more than enough to get you through whatever comes your way. Now that God has given you the strength to keep moving, the question becomes, where do you go from here? What's the next step when life feels uncertain and the road ahead looks unclear? Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. This is a powerful promise, and it's one we often need to hear when life feels confusing or uncertain. Think about it. When we try to figure everything out on our own, we become overwhelmed. We question if we're on the right path, if we're making the right decisions. But God says, trust me, I will guide you. Even when the path seems crooked or when it feels like you're wandering in circles, God is still leading you. You might not see the full picture, but God does. He knows every twist and turn ahead. Like a loving parent guiding a child, He is holding your hand, ensuring you stay on the path He has planned. And here's the thing. His guidance isn't just for the big decisions in life. It's not just about your career, marriage, or major life choices. He's guiding your steps daily. He's with you in the little decisions, the small moments, the everyday challenges. Psalm 37 verse 23 tells us, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. God delights in guiding you, even in what feels like the routine or mundane. Think of your life like a journey through a forest. Sometimes the path ahead is clear, and you can see far in the distance. Other times, fog rolls in, and you can only see one step in front of you. But God never asks you to have it all figured out. He only asks you to trust Him for the next step. You don't have to know where every step will lead. You just need to keep walking, knowing that God is ahead of you, clearing the way. Have you ever noticed that GPS systems don't give you all the directions at once? They guide you one turn at a time. 
If you follow those instructions step by step, you'll get to your destination. In the same way, God is giving you direction one step at a time. He doesn't always reveal the whole plan because He wants you to trust Him through each step. Sometimes His leading will take you down unexpected paths. You might face detours or delays, but even those are part of His plan. What may seem like a setback or a dead end to you is often God redirecting you towards something better. He sees what's around the corner when you can't. He knows what's waiting for you at the end of the road. Jeremiah 10 verse 23 reminds us, I know, O Lord, that a man's way is not in himself, nor is it in a man who walks to direct his steps. We are not designed to navigate life alone. We were created to walk in partnership with God, trusting Him as our guide. So, even when you don't understand the path you're on, you can rest in the knowledge that God is working things out for your good. The road may not always be easy, but you are never walking it alone. He's guiding every step, leading you toward His purpose, His peace, and ultimately His victory. All you need to do is trust Him and keep moving forward. As you trust in God's guidance, remember that He isn't just leading you through the trials. He's leading you to something greater. He's guiding you toward victory. And that leads us to this crucial truth. Victory isn't just a distant hope. It's already yours through Jesus. Finally, remember that in Christ, you are already victorious. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 declares, But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever you're facing, Jesus has already won the battle. The victory is yours because of what He has done. You're not fighting for victory. You're fighting from victory. But what does that really mean for your life right now? It means that the struggles you're facing today are not the final word. Jesus, through His death and resurrection, has already overcome every obstacle, every challenge, and every enemy you'll ever face. Whether it's fear, doubt, sickness, or any trial you can think of, Jesus has already conquered it. When He said, it is finished on the cross, John 19, verse 30. He was declaring that the battle is over. You don't have to earn victory. It's already yours because of what Christ has done. This truth should change the way you approach your challenges. Instead of feeling defeated or hopeless, you can face each day with confidence, knowing that God is on your side. Romans 8, verse 37 says, No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. You're not just going to scrape by. You're going to overcome with a strength that's greater than anything you could muster on your own. Being more than a conqueror means you're walking in victory, even when the situation looks tough. It means God is working things out for your good, even when you don't see it yet. Remember, this victory doesn't mean life will always be easy. You will still face trials, but the difference is you know how the story ends. You know that no matter how big the problem is, it cannot stand against the power of Jesus. Victory is not something you hope for in the future. It's something you can claim right now, in the middle of your circumstances. Ephesians 6 verse 10 reminds us to be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. You don't have to rely on your own strength because God's power is working within you. So, as you go through life's battles, Remember that you're not fighting for victory. You're fighting from victory. Jesus has already secured it for you. Stand firm in that truth. Keep moving forward and trust that God is with you every step of the way. Victory is not just a possibility. It's a promise. Through Christ, it's already yours. Right now, make the decision not to give up. Whatever you're facing, whether it's a personal challenge, a broken relationship, or a spiritual battle, remember that God is with you, and He's leading you to victory. Trust in His plan, lean on His strength, and believe that His timing is perfect. Don't quit now because God has something amazing in store for you. So today, take heart. You might not see the victory yet, but it's coming. God is leading you every step of the way. Trust Him, lean on Him, and remember, you are not alone. With God, 
You will make it through. Don't give up. Your victory is closer than you think. Before we close, let's take a moment to bring our hearts before God in prayer. Wherever you are, know that He is listening and ready to guide you through whatever challenges you face. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, knowing that you are our refuge and strength. We thank you for your unwavering presence in our lives, especially in times when we feel weak and lost. Lord, we ask for your guidance. Lead us through the storms, the uncertainties, and the trials we face. Help us to trust in your perfect plan, even when we cannot see the way ahead. Father, we know that your ways are higher than our ways, and your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. In moments of doubt, remind us that you are in control, working everything for our good. Give us the courage to keep moving forward, even when the road is difficult, and fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding. We pray for strength, Lord, the kind of strength that comes only from you. Renew our spirits when we are weary, and help us to remember that we don't have to walk this journey alone. You are with us, guiding every step. We ask that you remove any fear or anxiety and replace it with faith and hope. Thank you, Father, for the victory you have already won for us through Jesus Christ. We trust in you and believe that you are leading us to a place of triumph. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this message encouraged you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more uplifting content. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a moment of inspiration and guidance from God's Word. Share this message with someone who needs to be reminded that God is leading them to victory. Let's grow in faith together.